In this video, we are going to talk about rational and irrational numbers. What are these rational numbers? Huwag niyong kalimutan ito. Ang rational numbers, these are numbers that can be represented as the ratio of two integers. Example, 2. 2 can be represented as 2 over 1, puede ring 4 over 2, puede ring negative 8 over negative 4. These are different representation sa 2. Another example, 1.25. Can be represented as 125 over 100, puede ring 250 over 200, puede ring 1250 over 1000. Pariho lang yan lahat. 1.25. What about repeating decimals? Example. Yung point one 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 na repeat na yung one. By the way, please see description ng video ito para sa link kung paano mag-convert ng repeating decimals to fractions. So itong point one 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 one, this is equivalent to one over nine. Ratio of two numbers. Now what about 15. Saan natin ilalagay ito? Is this rational or irrational number? Ang tanong, can we write 15 as the ratio of two integers? Itong 15, pwede yung 15 over 1, pwede 30 over 2. So basically, lahat ng mga whole numbers ay rational numbers. Now another example. What about 0.75? Is it rational or irrational number? Next na tanong, can we write this 0.75 as the ratio of two integers? Yes, kasi pwede yung 75 over 100. Pwede rin yung 150 over 200. These are different representation of 0.75. Therefore, lahat ng terminating decimals are rational numbers. Another example, what about negative 2? Pariho lang. Si negative 2 ay pwedeng negative 2 over 1. Negative 4 over 2 or 8 over negative 4. Pariho lang din. So, negatives, all negative numbers, are rational numbers. Another example. Point 18, 18, 18, non-terminating but repeated repeated decimals so ito ay this is can be also represented as 2 over 11 2 integers so therefore this is rational numbers so under the rational numbers pwede yung mga whole numbers positive negative Yung mga decimal numbers, pero dapat terminating. Kung non-terminating man, dapat repeated decimals. So ngayon, ano yung mga irrational numbers? Take note. Non-terminating, terminating, but repeated decimals na pwedeng marepresenta 
as a ratio of two integers, yan ay rational numbers. So, ang opposite dito sa non-terminating but repeated decimals, decimals, yan yung mga irrational numbers. So, ang irrational numbers natin ay non-terminating, non-terminating, and non-repeating, non-repeating decimals. Decimals. So, number one na example dito ay yung pi. Ang equivalent ni pi ay 3.1415 and goes on. Never terminates, never repeats, which you cannot write them as a ratio of two integers. Another example, yung number e na equals to 2.3. 7, 1, 8, and so on. Yung golden ratio, which is equivalent to 1.618, and so on, never terminates, never repeats, which you cannot write them as a ratio of two integers, are irrational numbers. Now, what about square root of 4? Square root of 4 is equals to 2. Now, 2 is a whole number na pwede natin i-represent as 2 over 1. Again, 4 over 2, negative 8 over negative 4. Therefore, ang square root of 4 ay rational number. Square root of 4, square root of 25, mga rational numbers. Yan siya. So, how about kung square root of 2. Again, please see description ng video ito para sa link regarding sa kung paano mag-solve ng square root of any numbers without using calculators. Now, dito tayo sa square roots. Umpisahan natin sa ganito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Yung lahat ng mga numbers na squared natin. Okay, so 1 times 1 is equals to 1, 2 times 2 is equals to 4, 3 times 3 is equals to 9, 4 times 4 is equals to 16, 5 times 5 is equals to 25. Therefore, kung square root natin yan, that is equals to 1. Kung square root natin yan, that is equals to 2. Kung square root natin si 9, that is equals to 3. Kung square root natin si 16, that is 4. Kung square root sa 25, that is 5. Ngayon, in between dito sa 1 and 4, square root of 2, square root of 3, irrational numbers. Now, in between sa square root of 4 at square root of 9, that is, square root of 5, square root of 6, square root of 7, square root of 8 are irrational numbers. In between dito, so that is square root of 10, square root of 11, square root of 12, at lahat yung mga hindi perfect na square, basta non-terminating, Non-repeating decimals are irrational numbers. Ito lang ang tandaan nyo sa irrational number. A number that cannot be, cannot be written as a fraction. That is irrational number. While ang rational numbers, lahat ng mga whole numbers, ma-positive man yan o man-negative, lahat ng mga decimal numbers, ma-terminating man yan o non-terminating, basta kapag non-terminating, dapat repeated decimals na pwedeng ma-convert into fraction katulad nito, yan ay rational numbers. Pero kapag non-terminating, non-repeating na hindi pwedeng gawing fraction, that is irrational numbers. Thank you.